Welcome back to Dirt Nuts in Space and part three of the HMS Kent build. I uh, made some pretty good progress on this little model kit that I'd, uh, I thought I'd share with you. Uh, we've done, I suppose you like a, a, a reasonable amount of work on this one now. The All the parts of the main superstructures have been uh, painted in the light ghost grey now. And that's starting to look really good. Uh, missile silo has been done as well. So happy with that. The uh, bridge section of this part of the superstructure, I had to remove the half floor that they had on there, mainly because it was too high. So uh, the poor little 1350 scale men would have been smashing their heads off the ceiling inside the bridge. So we've lowered that down. Uh, that's actually had the effect where uh, when you put a little person in there now their heads are about halfway to three quarters of the way up the window uh, which is kind of roughly where it should be uh, and that's what it looks like as I say it was only kind of that much at the forward end that you had at the floor it was like a, a half moon really uh, so I've extended it out that way this is a, a fairly tight fit, uh, which is a good thing really, to be honest. So what I did to get this in the exact right place is, before I glued it, I smushed it onto uh, this part of the superstructure uh, to make sure that there were no gaps underneath it at all. And then when that was actually in place, I could then sort of take it off and used the uh, Tamiya Extra Thin and just dabbed it in a couple of places and the good thing with the uh, Extra Thin is it acts like a capillary action you know so it just finds its way around the whole of the outside uh, so yeah that's how we've done that I'm still debating at the moment whether I should attempt to build any kind of consoles in there at all I'm not sure whether you're going to actually see them if you do I mean if I do it's just going to be something rudimentary so it you can see something in there and I think that will most probably be the way that I go if I'm to be honest because having something in there even if it doesn't look spot on at least there's something in there um, and it just helped place the figures in there a little bit better as well so that's done. Uh, yeah, again, this piece has been uh, painted with the uh, the light ghost grey, mainly all around the uh, the sides and the underneath of those parts. All of these upper parts need to be painted uh, in the dark grey. So that's good. Uh, and then we got the hangar bay. Now with this, uh, you you didn't get a hangar bay at all with this particular kit and it's a shame to be honest that they didn't uh, supply a, a hangar deck and it's an even bigger shame that uh, Atlantis models didn't supply anything uh, on their photo etch for a hangar bay because otherwise you know it would have looked really good uh, so all I've done there is I've just chopped the walkways off because they were way too small uh, and then I just fashioned out of some photo etch that I had left over from the Defender build because you had with uh, not the Defender sorry um, the, the Daring build you had two different types of um, hanger with that photo etch uh, you could either go the complicated route or you could go the easy route so on the uh, Darren I went the complicated route which then left me with the uh, the photo etch for the uncomplicated route which I've then just fashioned uh, into the railings for this hangar bay it's not spot on to be fair uh, and the back end is a bit of a well I wouldn't say a mess but this part here you've got uh, the middle part there which overhangs uh, both of the other parts as well mainly because the photo etch for 
Uh, the Daring obviously was not designed for this. The uh, the, sh the hangar bay is slightly bigger than this one. But it serves a function and that is the main thing. It, at least it gives a look as though there is actually something in there um, from the back end. And, you know, that's all you can ask for, really. All I'm going to do on the back, uh, on, on the roof of this, is you can actually see where the lights are meant to go on this. So all I'm going to do is, like at the front, just put some red lights and then also uh, put some cool uh, white uh, SMDs in there as well. And that will then light up the... Um, the hangar bay and then it'll just be a case of sorting the the uh the lighting out for the bridge again that's just going to be green the the hull itself has been uh almost finished now the only things that's left to do on this is just basically give it a, a clear coat with the uh tamiya um uh clear lacquer to actually help protect this paint because one thing I have noticed with the uh, the Humbrol acrylic paints, even though it does actually spray really nicely, to be fair, um, I was quite shocked by that. I mean, I used to back in the day. I just used to uh, use the uh, the Humbrol uh, enamel paints exclusively for all my painting, uh, and I've just gone over to um, acrylics because they dry a lot faster and it's um, a lot less smelly to be fair um, and I've never really used these new Humbrol acrylics until I've done the, uh, the daring um, and they lay down really really well the only problem is is the fact that the Humbrol acrylics are actually more delicate than uh, the Tamiya ones to be fair uh, so these paint does scratch quite easily um, and you can gouge it quite easily compared to the Tamiya stuff so before I do anything else to the to the hull I'm basically going to get that clear coat on there to ensure that that paint uh, is safe to be fair uh, so yeah I'm just going to carry on get all of that sorted out oh the other thing I don't think I've actually shown you um, and I don't think you're going to see at the moment, to be fair. But um, I have uh, put a little figure in there at the back. And again, those little railings didn't come with the uh, the kit for this. Uh, that's, again, stuff that was left over from the, uh, the daring build. Um, so I just kind of chopped that up a little bit and got that in there. So we've got a figure in there and we've also got some um, red SMDs in there and also some cool white SMDs in there to help light that bit up and then these little ports here I've uh, drilled those out and that's mainly because you've got the um, I don't know what they're called actually they davit no they're not davits because I think that's to do with uh, the lifeboats etc isn't it but you've got those little bollards in there um, and then the ropes for those would come through and then tie onto the bollards on the dock so I've drilled those out so that's going to create a nice little light show I reckon um, you're just going to have a little bit of light coming through those areas and that's going to look pretty cool so yeah that's that bit done um, so yeah I'm just going to get this uh, lacquered to, uh, to protect that uh, and uh, try and get a little bit more work done to this before I come back to you. Uh, so I'll talk to you soon guys.